Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey what's up? My name is Caitlin and today I'm going to be starting a little mini series of videos I guess. I'm only going to have four right now and then four next year if we continue this. Um, I'm calling it Rewind. I don't really know if anyone else has done this. I've never seen anyone do it, but I'm sure it's been done. <laughs> but I just thought I have four subscription services if you didn't already know that. I do Glossy Box, BoxyCharm, Birch Box, and Ipsy every month and it's become like a lot of money so I've just been like trying to like think about it and is it really worth it and all that and I know you guys who aren't subscribed have probably like watched my videos or other people's videos to see if you think it's worth it so I am going to go back through the year 2017 and tell you about all the products that I actually liked from every individual brand or subscription service whatever you want to call it and I am going to use the same intro for, intro for every video, mistakes and all, so if you get tired of hearing that, I'm sorry. But yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. Okay, we finally reached part four and the end of this little mini-series, and that is BoxyTarb. And as you can tell, this one's probably going to be a long one. So I'm not going to like go in order based on like product type because honestly, I don't even know what's in there at this point. So we're just going to pull from the top. First thing in here, and BoxyCharm is $21 a month, by the way, so it's the same price as Glossy Box. This one is by Artist Couture, and it is a highlighter in the shade Illuminati. So we'll go ahead and swatch this for you. It is hard to get out of here, honestly, because you have to, like, pour it out. But yeah, there it is. Super, super gold. I still have swatches from the last one. So pretty. I honestly wear this more as an eyeshadow than I do as a highlight, just because it's pretty glittery. But I do really like it for like inner corner highlight or on top of another shadow. So I really do love this. It's really pretty. I kind of want to try out more Artist Couture shadows. I really, 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 really want the Jackie Ina one because Jackie Ina is awesome and I want to support her. But my pocketbook just not having that right now. So yeah, next product in here is the Project Beauty Spray Set Go Makeup Setting Spray. I do love this setting spray. I've used quite a bit of it, but it is pretty expensive. So I don't honestly, honestly don't know if I'll repurchase this just because it's so expensive. But yeah, let's go ahead and spray my face with it so you can see the mister. I forgot how intense this mister is. Wow. Okay. Um, I have mascara on my face. That's cute. This mister is pretty intense, so I would recommend pulling like right here away instead of like right here. But I do really, really like it. It makes my makeup last all day, so it's great. Speaking of setting sprays, this one is my favorite setting spray, so we're gonna spray my face again. This is the Cover F uh, Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray, and yeah, it looks like this. Mm, I love it. It's just like such a soft little, like barely there setting spray. I lost the lid to it though, unfortunately, which sucks. But yeah, I don't really know how illuminating it makes me, but I love the way it feels and it does make everything lock in place all day. Also, I forgot to mention in my, um, what did I just do with my glossy box video? But I did mention it in the other two that I didn't include brushes in any of these um, rewinds because I don't remember which which box had which brush. Um, I have like several Luxie brushes, like this one right here. This is a Luxie brush that came in one of these subscription boxes. All my Luxie brushes came in subscription boxes. I have some of my SL Miss Glam brushes, and I do love every brush that I've gotten in every box that I've received from, but I didn't want to sit there and figure out which brush came with which box, so just know that I loved all of them. Next thing is the Bare Minerals Invisible Light. Um, this is a powder duo. It has a nice size mirror in it, as you can see right there, and then it does have a matte side and a glow side. You obviously can't see the matte side, but the glow side is really pretty. Um, I don't really use the matte side too much. Here's the glow side. Just gives off like a healthy glow. It's really pretty because I feel like it gives a little bit of flashback. I could be crazy, but you can't really see flashback on my skin, let's be honest, because I'm so pale. But I feel like this one gives a little bit. Just a little bit. But I really, really like the glowy side. So keeping it for that reason. I wish that they made them single so I could just buy the glowy side, but you know. And this, I'm probably going to save that one actually, because we'll do the products together. 
This one is by Ofra, and this is the classic Rodeo Drive highlighter that so many people rave about. Um, I'd never tried an Ofra highlight before until I got this one. And looking at this, I was like, it's going to be way too gold for me. But honestly, it's not, though. Like, it blends out so prettily. Prettily? That's not a word. Like, at all. <laughs> but I just really like it. It kind of looks like a natural glow. Which, if you look at this, and then you look at this, you're like, what? No. <laughs> But I really like this on like more natural highlight days. And yeah. Let's get going on here because my phone is about to die. Let's see. Next in here is the Brow Gal Brow Trio by Tonya Brooks. Um, I did get, I do know that I got this brush with this because I got these together. This is the Brow Gal um, eyebrow brush. Dropping everything. Which I do use on the daily. I do really like it. Um, it's got a nice size mirror, and then it's got these three shades. I obviously only use this one, but I'm not wearing this today. I do really like this. It's not my favorite. I like my um, Brow Trio one by Bodyography. Yeah, better, but I do really like this one. Probably won't repurchase it because I like the other one better, but I still really like it. It lasts all day. It's super pigmented, super pretty. Works well with every eyebrow gel I've tried it with. Okay, so let's talk eyeshadows. I have so many eyeshadow palettes. This is the Tarte uh, Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 palette. Yes, we got this entire palette in BoxyCharm. Um, it looks like this. It has a nice size mirror. And then it's got four, eight shades in it. They're all like more um, neutral tones. There's this pop of gold and this blue and this white. Let's watch those. This is Sunset Riptide Pearl. They look like that super pretty super pigmented obviously Tarte is an amazing brand so to receive anything from Tarte is awesome but to receive an entire eyeshadow palette honestly like boxycharm for the win um next is another eyeshadow palette i do have quite a few eyeshadow palettes to show you this one is called the kitten palette which if you know me you don't but if you did you would know that i freaking love cats so much it's kind of ridiculous but I love cats, especially kittens. And this is the Winky Lux palette. So this is the cutest thing I've ever seen first off. And then you open it and you've got nine shades that are super pretty. And yeah, they don't have names, unfortunately. But we'll swatch a few of these. So pretty. Do, do, and do. So pretty. I just swatched that one on top of that one. These are really pretty. I've been wearing this a lot lately. Like, this has been one of my go-to palettes. Oh, I lied. They do have names. I swatched... Cheshire, Nine Lives, and, no, this is Nine Lives. What did I just swatch? <laughs> Cheshire, right? Yes, this one was Cheshire. This, like, purpley color is Cheshire. This blue shade is Nine Lives right here, and this pink shade is called Purr. They do have names right here on the back. I have used this palette so many times and never even noticed that. <laughs> Honestly, though, that has been, like, one of my go-to palettes lately. I do really like it. I am not wearing it today, obviously, but still. Next palette. This is not my favorite eyeshadow palette, but A, the fact that we got this in a BoxyCharm is amazing, and B, I do really like it. And that is the Pure Soray, 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 I don't know, Diaries palette. And you do get another nice size mirror. And 4 by 3 is 12, 12 shadows in here, which they are all neutral colors, which is why it's not, like, my favorite but I do really like these. This is really pretty. Let's swatch two of these and a matte color. This matte color is called um, Stunner. This is Glitzy and this is Twinkle. So let's we'll swatch those for you. So pretty. I really, 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 really like the um, metallic -y shades. The matte shades are pretty too, but I mean, I've got a bunch of matte shades that I love. I've got a bunch of metallic shades I love too, but I do really like this palette. They're really crumbly eyeshadows but still really pretty and really pigmented and they do last a long time so I really like them. Last eyeshadow palette is by Blink and this is the Electric Eyes palette. It, it does, well there's my camera, um, it does say BoxyCharm on here so I'm assuming that means that it's like a BoxyCharm exclusive but you do get five shades in here, they're really pretty, love this shade. Um, they are all uh, shimmer shades so you don't get like matte shades in here to use but they're still really pretty let's see 
These do have shades. I do not remember how you do this. I think it's this way. So I think it's Ottini, Vanadini, and Rodoni. I don't know. Those are the names. <laughs> they're so weird names. But they're very, very beautiful shadows. Look at that red. Honestly. <laughs> like, just for that red alone, this palette is worth it. I love it. Um, yeah, and we got this in Boxy Charm, so that's awesome. I need another makeup remover wipe because this one is not doing the trick anymore. Um, they are very hard to get off with makeup remover wipes just because they are so pigmented. Like, you can still see all of that, but they're beautiful. I use the e.l.f. cleanser a lot when I use that palette just because it's like melting cleanser to clean my makeup off just because it works so much better. Honestly, I would use that every day, but I'm lazy. And a lot of time I wind up using makeup remover wipes. But yeah, we're getting close to the end here. Not really. Uh, next thing in here is a mascara. This is the Tarte Tartiste Mascara. I'm wearing it today for the first time. And I do really like the way it looks. It's very, very lengthening. Not really volumizing, but it did give me like a lot of length. I want to pair that one with the Lights Camera Lashes and see what happens. So yeah. And last but certainly not least, we're going to talk lip products. I'm trying to rush through this because my phone is about to die. This is an LAQA Cloud Lips. I did get one of these in um, Glossy Box as well. This is the shade Storm. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is the brown color. I don't really love brown lips, but I do. Oh, wait, whoa. Whoa. Um, <laughs> I don't remember it being red. Weird. Okay. That doesn't look like that at all. I do not remember this being red. Okay, we're gonna skip talking about this one just because I don't remember it. I do know I love the formula because I love the formula of the other one, but I don't remember it being that color, so weird. Um, uh, this is by Ofra, and I think it's something Vineyard maybe? I don't know, the shade name is not on here, but I do really like the shade. I really like Ofra Liquid Lips in general. They're one of my favorite formulas. Oh, it smells so good. They smell like the Sila ones, very much so. Honestly, the shade is like identical to that shade. It's just in liquid lip form instead. That's cool. I really, really like the shade. It's so pretty. It lasts all day. It smells good. It's very thin formula, so it's not like super drying. It's more of like a whipped formula, but it does dry down, so that's awesome. Very beautiful. I like it. Next in here is ColourPop. This is in the shade Beeper. This one. I think if this is the right one, let's see. Yeah, this is one of my favorite liquid lips of all time. I love this shade color. It's very similar to what I'm wearing, but I love these like brownie undertone taupey colors like this one. They're very pretty. I don't really like like dark, dark, dark brown, but like this like 90s grungy brown I really like. And I love ColourPop liquid lips. They are very drying. I think this was an ultra matte, right? Yeah, the ultra matte lips are very drying. But I do really like them because they're affordable, they last all day, <laughs> and they're really good. They're not crumbly at all, they're just really, really drying. But I do like them. Next in here is by Pretty Vulgar. So pretty. This is in the shade Sophisticated. No, particularly Sophisticated. These liquid lips are called My Lips Are Sealed, and this is metallic. Um, I honestly, I'm not going to lie to you, I haven't worn this very much. I've only worn it twice, I think. And I didn't wear it for very long. I just really like it. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like that. It's super metallic-y. So I don't really know how long these last. I just know they're really pretty. And I really like it. So I won't talk too much about it just because of that reasoning. This is a Tartiste lip paint in the shade Delish. It looks like this. Now my cat's trying to get in here. So that's awesome. I'm pretty sure this is like another. No, this one's not quite the same that bottom one right there it's kind of like if this one and this one had a baby it'd be this it's like a really pretty what does it smell like like frosting I guess I don't know I love the doe fit on these too it's like rounded like the um liquid cat suits are but yeah I really like that because it's a really pretty color they last all day these ones I wouldn't say last quite as long as like the color pop ones or the Ofra ones but they still do last quite a long time probably like five hours so you get through the work day with it for sure next in here and last in here actually we're finally to the end you guys this is the beauty crop liquid lip in the shade i forgot what shade date night looks like this i love the packaging on this 
And it is, these ones are like harder to get going. Like you have to do a few coats with these, but once you get it built up, it's really pretty. Looks like that. It's very similar to the Tarte one actually. Um, it's just a little bit darker. It's this one right here. So yeah, obviously I have shades that I like. Um, this one definitely lasts a long time. Like I'm gonna wait for it to dry while I talk and then wipe it off and you will see it's hard to wipe off. But they are really great. I love them. They last all day. They are kind of drying too. Kind of like the ColourPop ones. But they still last a long time. Let's see here. Nope, I didn't wait for it to dry long enough. Mm, sad day. But just trust me that they last a long time. Yeah, it's still not coming off. Look at that. Huh. Okay. Now, let's review. So we had two, four, six lip products that I liked. I think I have a seventh. I think I have another ColourPop one that I can find. But I'm not sure. So we'll stick with six. An eyebrow product that makes seven. A... Mascara is 8, 2 setting sprays is 10, a high, 2 highlighters is 12, a powder is 13, and 14, 15, 16, 17 products that we liked. Plus, I know I got a lot of brushes in here that I liked, so not including those, we got 17 products. BoxyCharm is probably by far my favorite subscription service that I have. And I mean, you get a full-size eyeshadow palette in these boxes sometimes. So I honestly am probably going to stick with BoxyCharm just because I really like it. And I always get products that I do like. I mean, they may not, not be my favorite products always, but they're always products that I like or that I can use. So, yeah. And I feel like BoxyCharm always does a really good job of including cruelty-free products. I don't think I've had very many products that weren't cruelty-free. So I do love them for that. But yeah, I hope you guys' 2018 is amazing. Let me know down below if you want to see more of these videos like next year if I continue to do these subscriptions or not. And yeah, don't forget to like this video before you go and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. Bye guys.